Say it's it's Daddy and Gibby. Oh, mm. <laughs> he's my little boy. Hey guys, it's Allie and welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. It's hitting me today, guys. I'm tired. <laughs> I actually slept in a little bit today and I think that screwed me up a little bit because it's 3 o'clock now. Like, we still have a lot of day left and I feel like I could sleep. <laughs> I'm about to head to Target. Let's count how many times in Vlogmas I go to Target. This is only time number two, but I'm guessing at least five. <laughs> I'm going to Target to get gingerbread houses. We're going to do a little competition one of these upcoming days. I'm gonna get some eggnog. I'm gonna get a couple little things because tomorrow is actually St. Nicholas Day. And if you don't know, it's kind of like tradition to put your shoe out and you wake up and St. Nicholas brought some gifts. So I'm going to get a few just little things for Ryan. Just kind of like a fun thing to do. And I think that's about it. I'm sure I'll find some other stuff to get along the way. Actually, I do need to get a birthday card for Ryan. The day that you're watching this, December 7th, if you see this the day it's uploaded, is actually Ryan's birthday. So comment down below and wish him a very happy birthday. And guess what age he is? People always get our ages wrong. So let me know down below if you don't know us personally, uh, how old do you think Ryan is turning today? All right, so I'm headed to Target and I will catch in with you guys later. We're going to decorate the tree today. I'm going to open the Poshmark mystery box. It'll just be kind of like a cozy night in. All right, so I'm back home, back from Target, and I have my Christmas Poshmark mystery box to open for you guys. I've had it for a couple days, so I've been eagerly awaiting. We're gonna have just like a cozy night in, so I figured this would be a good start to that. So for this box, I'll have the Poshmark seller linked down below. It really kind of was like open to anything. I basically told her that I like cozy things, I like socks, my name starts with A, like that kind of stuff because I saw from some of her pictures of other boxes she had made that she likes to put like monogram stuff in. So we'll see. She looks like she's a very generous posher and she likes like making cute little boxes. So I'm really excited. This was $25 plus shipping which was like seven so it ended up being I think around $35 tax included so hopefully it'll be worth it. I think it will be and it's just fun to open mystery box items. So right off the bat see she packaged it very nicely you can see she did like cute little paper a little sticker that says thank you and i think she told me that depending on like the price of the items there would be like four or five items in here oh there's another box a box in a box looks like so she put a little note she said happy holidays i hope this christmas mystery box brings you some cheer thank you for purchasing this box as every purchase this month is going towards presents for my first baby girl Oh, cute. I hope you and your family have a lovely holiday season. Love, Elizabeth. So her handle is Palm Leaf Vibes. So I'll put that up here, put it in the description so you guys can go maybe buy a box from her as well or just check out the other items in her closet. Oh my gosh, look how cute this box is. I love this. So, so cute. It even has a little tag on it. She didn't write anything, but still very cute. And this is something that like I can reuse for sure. Oh my gosh, this is just the cutest little thing. So the first thing right on top are some chocolate covered spoons. Very cute. This would be like really fun for having hot chocolate or like any cool holiday drink. I want to try to make some like holiday drinks here and we'll see, especially because my experience trying holiday drinks from some of the coffee chains, the fast food coffee chains was not that great. So I'm going to try to make my own and this will be like really nice to have with it. All right. Then we got, this chick's love language is gift giving for sure. Oh my gosh, okay, go off. So we got this very, very cute little mug. It's like real lightweight, nothing too crazy, but very, very pretty. I really like the look of this. And then we got, oh my gosh, how fun. We have some slipper socks, new with tags, of course, and they have little like jingles on them. 
and there's two, so there's this one, and then this one. I do have huge feet, which I didn't tell her that, <laughs> so hopefully these will fit me. Uh, it's gonna be tight, I think, but um, yeah, very fun. Then we got, oh my gosh, a little eyeshadow palette. And actually, I need some more eyeshadow, so this is a super nice thing to get. Very much like that. It's great, like, nude colors. She's so generous. And then one more thing still. Wow. And then got a couple face masks. So really, really nice and generous box. Like, first of all, this box in itself is really cute and something that, like, I'm definitely gonna reuse this. And then we had the chocolate covered spoons, the slipper socks, the eyeshadow palette, the mug, and the face mask, all for $25 plus shipping and tax, of course. But I feel like that is a really good deal. And like, I like that I'm supporting an independent person who's gonna buy uh, gifts for her little baby girl with the money, so that's really nice. So I would absolutely recommend. She was really nice, you could tell in just the little chatting I did with her. So now I think for the rest of the evening, I think we're gonna put up our Christmas tree and decorate that, cause it's in and maybe I'll make some cookies, and I got some eggnog from Target, so Ryan can try eggnog for the first time, and get a bath maybe, it'll just be like real cozy night in, so prep yourself for a montage. Okay, Ryan has never tried eggnog before, and I just made this homemade almond milk eggnog, so it's a lot healthier for you than normal eggnog. And then I made very unhealthy, easy to make Betty Crocker <laughs> gingerbread cookies. They're so probably delicious though. I'm kind of proud of this. I think it's really good. The whipped cream already melted a little bit in like five seconds, but okay. I think it's really good. Do you like it? Here, and then eat a bite of this with it. That is far better than any of those drinks that we had like two days ago. Yes. I'll leave this recipe down below. I just oh. found it on Pinterest. I mean, come on. Make yourself some crappy Betty Crocker gingerbread snap cookies and then make this healthier come on. almond milk uh, eggnog. It's oh. super good. This is better than any eggnog I've ever bought in the store. Oh. 
They're so good. So it's pretty good, I'd say. And the straw is a nice touch. I'm right too now. tall. If I stand up straight, you can't see me anymore. Look. Okay. All you have is my mouth. I can do like an oompa loompa. There we go. guys I just realized I still needed to make an outro so <laughs> excuse me lounging in bed I'm just watching Great British Bake Off but I hope you enjoyed this cozy night in we got a lot of stuff done I made eggnog made cookies not really from scratch but you know whatever uh, put up our tree it was just a nice night open my Poshmark mystery box so I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did make sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already as you guys know by now I'm making videos every day from now until Christmas so I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about?